Hey, what's up guys? Um, Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. And uh, yeah, I'm getting back into problems today. Um, I haven't done any database stuff. So if you've been following along with the channel, you know that I do HackRank and LeetCode. So I thought, you know, let's do some database stuff on HackRank. I'm going to do all of the SQL questions. This is the first one, revising the select query. And... Um, you know, SQL, if you don't know what SQL is, it is a domain-specific language used in programming designed for managing data held in a relation database management system. Uh, so it's kind of like a language to communicate with the database. There's uh, NoSQL and SQL. Um, NoSQL databases are more architected like JSON or like a tree structure. Um, this table right here kind of shows, um, you know, SQL or relational database structure, which is like tables. So you have like IDs and, it, you know, you have, you have um, fields associated with um, data types or, you know, and then there's a, you know, it's kind of like, it's, yeah, I don't know, you know, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, we're going to just do some of these. So let's get started. This should be really easy. So that video should end in like two seconds. Query all columns for all American cities with in city. In, so we have a table named city. Query all columns for American cities in city, the table, with populations larger than 100,000. Um, the country code for America is USA. So all columns for American cities. Okay, so they need the country code has to be USA. Okay. Uh, queries are usually just, we go into caps locks on our keyboard. We do select star, meaning select all star is used in a lot of different programming languages to mean all, you know, CSS, JavaScript is used a lot. Select all from city. So we're selecting all of the data from city. This would select all the data from city right now, but we don't want all the data. We want select all from city where, and then this is where you, maybe how you would do a condition, like an if, th then, you know, where is kind of like a condition where um, country code equals USA for American cities, because country code is USA, uh, and the country code is a varchar, meaning, you know, characters. So country code equals USA and... Um, what else is it? Population is greater than 100,000. So population is greater than 100,000. And then a semicolon to end. And uh, yeah, we can run this and it should work. I already did these a long time ago, but I'm just redoing them for you guys. Um, and then this is useful. This is like, if you want it, if you set up, there you go, it works. So this selected everything where, so this selected all this stuff from city. We can't see city really, but um, you can imagine that these are cities in city table. Um, and you know, their population is greater than a hundred thousand. So we're good on that. I think these are the populations, but, um, awesome. That was the end of that one. I'm going to go on to probably revising the select query too, is my best guess, but, um, you know, pretty good. If you don't know about SQL, definitely look it up. N um, most stuff, modern projects actually use no SQL. Mostly I would say I use MongoDB, DynamoDB, Google Firebase, there's a lot of like cloud databases now that are really, I think are better. I actually like them better and we'll do those later. But uh, HackerRank has this nice SQL tutorial and I do interview for jobs in Java specifically, um, Android development, like anything legacy is probably going to be using SQL or MySQL or, you know, something along those lines. Postgres I've used for Ruby stuff, but um, yeah, you could, it's definitely good to know. So we're doing the SQL here. That was the first one going on the next one. And I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Um, you know, go to the links in the description also and, you know, subscribe. All right. See you guys.